There we go. Omar Botello, el Espartaco, he's 23 years old, 26 years old. Brian Geraldo, 5.7 feet, 5.5 feet. We're talking about their height. And watch the reach, four inches of advantage there for el Espartaco, Omar Botello. Let's go to the center of the octagon. This is the second fight of the main card, Budo Centro Championship from Mexico City. Presentando en la esquina azul, originario de Guadalajara, Jalisco, 23 años de edad, 135 libras de peso, una estatura de 5 pies y 7 pulgadas, un récord profesional de dos victorias y un descalabro. Recibamos a Omar Espartaco Botello, su contrincante. En la esquina roja, originario de la Ciudad de México, 26 años de edad, 135 libras de peso, una estatura de 5 pies y 5 pulgadas, un récord profesional invicto de una victoria. Un fuerte aplauso para Brian Geraldo. Nuestro referee para este encuentro, el profe Mauricio Solís. ¡Que gane el mejor! Sigan mis indicaciones en todo momento. Hagan una buena pelea. Protéjanse todo el tiempo. Yo que aguantense, si lo desean, los esquinas. And here we go. Hola, This is the second fight. Hola, Sensei Guillermo Salas. In the blue corner, Omar El Espartaco. In the red listo. corner, Brian Geraldo. Ah. And don't blink. Sensei Guillermo Salas, he has to capitalize the advantage with his good boxing and the four inches that the blue the blue corner has on Botello Sensei Salas. Remember that Brian Geraldo has a black belt in Taekwondo so his kicking is very good, elegant and he can use that to keep Botello on the distance. Going for his second fight. We're talking about Brian Geraldo Cruz on the red corner. Both men are wearing your black trunks. So that's the way you can recognize them. Brian Geraldo, sorry. He has just one amateur fight there and two wins on his record. I want to say hi again to Don Antonio Botello. He's watching his son fighting right now through UFC Fight Pass here Ooh. in Puerto Santo. Good exchange of blows there. Now. Good. Botello in Budo 8, won by TKO to Angelo Raya. And in Budo 11, he won by submission. So he might be the fighter who can change the level, but Geraldo wants to surprise, close it the distance. And take the fight to the ground, which is important, Marlo, because now the evolution of mixed martial arts is you don't need to be like a specialist in, in grappling or jiu-jitsu. Who ends up in the ground can take advantage of controlling and who, ground and pound. Who ends up on top. Yes. And there you go. Botello says, uh-uh, that's not going to happen today. Look at the yes. left eyebrow there by Geraldo. He's already bleeding, so he is doing a Good work there with the right hand. Talking about Botello. And that's the reason why he wanted to close the distance and take Bot Botello to the ground. Nice Maybe he left. knows Sorry. the damage and he's looked the bleeding now. Wow, the uppercut goes through the guard there of Geraldo, but he responds with the right hook. I oh, nice elbow there. I think Brian Geraldo is going to clinch again and, and take the fight to the ground for. Botello, he knows now that the target is the, re the left eye. Oh, you, you, watch out there. He has to be careful. Yeah, the last appearance from Botello against um, Alfredo Larios. He got finished there on the ground by a rear naked choke. Nice right hand there, and Gerardo smiles. He got there that right punch in the face. They both won in Budo 11, but Geraldo 
against Rodrigo Cobra Marquez by unanimous decision. So they shared that card, and now they're fighting in this Budo Cento 21. 21? No. <laughs> 16. <laughs> I was thinking about <laughs> September when it's going to be the Budo one. Cento 17. 22, yes. Of oh, September. <laughs> 22 of September okay. is Budo Cento Budo 11. Budo Cento, volume 17, the 22nd of September. Yes. Okay, there it goes. Ooh, the Superman punch attempt there by Geraldo. And the clock is ticking. One minute left on the clock. Well, the second round. Look at the bleeding there are Geraldo. It's important. He has Ooh. to keep on working there. It's a nasty cut. Yeah. And I like what Botel is doing because he's doing a long combination. That was a very good. He needs to pressure. Volume. There you go. He's doing right. Right hand, left, now he changed to knee to the middle area. I don't know, maybe it's time for Geraldo to try to clinch and take the fight to the ground again because he's taking a lot of damage in the face. He needs to keep pressure. Botello keeping the peace, the pace. Look. <laughs> yeah, I was the, saying, like, peace? There's no peace in there right now, so right? <laughs> Keeping the pace. the pace. And you heard the 10 second announcement. Wow. Oh, the Rolling That's Thunder. Yeah. That was a hey. Hey. dangerous fight in the back of the neck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it was a good attempt. At least it wasn't spectacular. We can see there. Botello's corner, and you can see Alessandro Costa, he's back. Let's go for the replay, guys. Look at it. Wow, the left hook got when he got the reach by Botello there. That one went through the guard. That's when he started working on the cuts and say, Yes, I think Botello really used that cut and kept punishing that area. And I like that Botello did a three. Look, 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 look the, well, well, yeah, the cut, the well, cut. Well, the cut must well, work there. Well, Try to avoid well, the bleeding well, there. Well, well, Absolutely. I mean, Geraldo, he is a really well-known fighter. He's really good at the striking game. But we can see the Botello, he comes back with an evolution in his game. He looks very comfortable. So, I mean, he's doing a really, really good performance. Let's go for the close of the fight here. Omar Botello in the blue corner. Both are Mexican fighters. Ooh. Brian Geraldo, that was a low blow there. In between the jump kick, he has five minutes to recover. And since they tell everybody that's with us in this broadcast, they have a protector, but any uh, protection obviously down there, but obvi it, it hurts yeah, a lot. Yeah, of course, the ring, the ring of the protector ir irritates the pain. So it takes time to recover because it's expanding and the sensation is like a uh, burning. Well, I Sometimes like when it's a, re a direct hit, it burns. I wouldn't like to feel that nice left hook there. Another left hand by Botello. Wow, watch it. Gisela, go for it. This is going to get crazy this last round. Absolutely. I mean, Botello, he's doing such a good boxing. He has really good stance. Switching legs, Oy. switching the standings, and wow, he just connected again. To Geraldo, and it seems that this can be over anytime soon. Oh, oh wow. Wow. another low blow, but now by to Spartaco <laughs> Botello. <laughs> so now they're equal in conditions. There, and, say, <laughs> Ooh, and this is unfortunate because Botello was really making pressure on Geraldo with those volume of connection. Look, this is the replay, yes, direct with the left. 
Kovačík. Listo. Listo. Well, Geraldo is trying to connect with that right hand, but I think Botelho is taking the best part with long combination, using the right and now the left hand. So Geraldo doesn't know where it's coming. Look now, ooh, wow, that's it. What a great trade. And now he's earned. It's a moment for Spartaco Botelho. There you go. That's a change of strategy. No, that's survival mode. What an incredible throw there by Gerardo. The right hand goes through. Gisela, the left, the right, the combination. It's his moment. Go for it. This is going to be over anytime soon. I mean, Gerardo's eyes, so it's like almost closed. Wow. And look at that. It's creating so much punishment. Botelho is doing an amazing Good. job with the striking game. It's just Another unbelievable. Left. What and a another heart. left to take Guillermo Mozart. What a heart from Geraldo, who is now connected in the right eye. Look, look at his face. Whoa. Whoa. And she goes of down. Course. That's <laughs> it. What a victory for Omar Botero and Spartaco. Incredible. <laughs> wow, that was very, very impressive. <laughs> the damage that Botello kept doing in the face of Geraldo. He started changing using the left hand. We will see in the replay. Connected very good. Hey, and he finished hey, the fight with the right hand. Hey, wow. Nice. We hope that Geraldo eye is okay because the hemorrhage look nasty. He took so much punishment. I mean, I could have seen it from a few minutes ago before that he got took down. That he was already, <laughs> his eye was like taking so much punishment. And here comes Botello. <laughs> Botello. Botello. <laughs> Oye, he, he came to the to the booth. Tu papa está pendiente. Your father is watching you. Omar. He's so excited, yeah, guys. Yeah, he's so excited. That was incredible. He came to me and Botello, no Botello. <laughs> Tell yourself. <laughs> Because I actually had a chance yesterday to speak to him, and I, I had the same doubt because last time we made the same mistake about Botello, 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 Botello. He's like, Botello. He's a, a part of his background. He's a familiar. This is the replay. Look, he was connected right and left hand, and then the right hand makes the job. Oh, the left then, one. The left Look, the right, and then right, left. Boom. Boom. That's the one that bended Geraldo's legs. Incredible performance there by both fighters, but obviously better by Omar El Espartaco. How is it? Botello. Botello. A los dos minutos y 25 segundos del segundo round, nuestro referee Mauricio Solís detiene las acciones para un ganador por la vía del knockout técnico en la esquina azul. Omar Espartaco!